All right, guys. Well, I wanted to show you how to link a CSS document to your HTML document. So the first thing that um, you need to just make sure that you know is where you have your HTML document saved. So here's my HTML document that I've got up. And if I look, I see that mine's on my desktop. So that's a, a good first thing to make sure you know. Second thing that we want to do then is we want to go ahead and go up to the top and we're going to hit File, New. And we're going to start a new document, and this is going to become our CSS document that we're going to begin working with. Now, before I do anything with this, I always like to just make sure I go back up and hit File, Save As. And what you're going to do is make sure that you save it in the same spot as your HTML document. So mine was saved to my desktop, so I'm going to just make sure that my CSS is also saved to my desktop as well. I'm going to go ahead and give it a name. Um, I'm going to just say all about me, but this time I'm going to put the extension .css at the end. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. Okay. All right, now, in order to link them together, I'm going to go ahead and come back to my HTML page. And I'm going to go inside of my head, underneath the title, and I have to link them together. So I'm going to say link. I'm going to say href equals, and then I'm going to put my allaboutme.css. So this is saying link to this uh, the location of the file, and it's this allaboutme.css. But that's not the only thing I have to do. I also have to say what type of file this is, and it's a text CSS file. And I also have to say the relationship. That's what REL stands for, and it's a style sheet. So I've got to put all three of those uh characteristics in there. So I link it using the href, the type, and the relationship. All right? Save it. You gotta make sure you save it. So now I've got an h1 here. So I should be able now to go ahead and come over here and let's just try to change the color of this. Let's just do something really obvious. And if it worked correctly, I should now be able to come to here and I see then that my name shows up in that aqua blue. Okay, so this is though how you're going to do it. You're going to do your link, the type, the relationship. They just have to be in the same folder. So if it's on the desktop or your downloads, your documents folder, whatever, wherever it is, make sure that you have it saved there and then it'll make it easy to connect together.